They are escaping again. <laughs> that was so far away. He's like, what's happening? <laughs> We're here today to answer questions about our new PvE game mode, Swarm, alongside some inspiring battle cats. We partnered with Stray Cat Alliance. They are a leading no-kill shelter, one of the largest cat-focused rescue and advocacy organizations in the United States. And are committed to providing care and medical support to both free-roaming and indoor cats. Rag Games has donated $10,000 to help support their Be a Hero for Cats campaign which will help ensure that all cats in their care are healthy, happy in foster homes, and prepared for adoption. We are proud to support the Stray Cat Alliance's mission and also very excited to dive right into our new PvE game mode with the help of a swarm of adoptable kittens. I've been a VFX artist at Riot for a while, and I've always been interested in trying something for design. Started working on a little prototype for just a little sandbox for myself, and eventually I realized I could make a little game mode out of that. After a few weeks or months, I realized I had something that had some potential. Around the time that Kevin was making his prototype of the game, I had been playing a number of games in the survival bullet heaven genre. I was thinking, hey, we could maybe do this in League of Legends. We could use League champions, we could use League spells, we could use League monsters and minions. After I pitched it, one of the executives that I pitched it to said, hey, did you know there's this other guy who's also doing this? And by the way, he has a complete working game. And then another designer hopped on the project as well, uh, Riot Nax. The three of us are then tasked with, hey, can you take this game that barely works and make it work enough that like, if people play it, they can see where the fun is? We got it working, got it into WASD over mouse and keyboard, prototyped a few champions, and this was enough to green light a full version of the game that eventually is coming out as Anima Squad. I was one of the first leaders that was kind of brought into the project at the prototype phase. It, it actually looked pretty grim early on. We thought potentially we weren't going to be able to make this mode with engineering being one of the reasons why. That's what led to us really building out the team. We went from two engineers on modes to six specifically working on this. This is a new game, really, more so than most of our other projects and modes. It's a little bit more ground up development. We really had to rethink everything from front to back for uh, what Swarm ended up being. One of the first things we knew right away was that the performance of Swarm was going to be a big deal. We knew there was going to be tons of enemies, it was going to be really difficult, and we were going to have to be really optimized. We decided, rather than going completely from scratch, to make just a lighter weight version of the League minions. So we factored out some things that we don't need that were taking out a lot of CPU cycles. Engineers do a lot of the work in the code layer, but a lot of the scripting is actually done by designers. So we create the system and then the designers themselves are the ones that enter kind of the data into it. With the Wave system, it was something where we needed to build a thing that gave them a huge toolbox of how to spawn enemies, which ways they would move, how many would spawn, what unique attributes they would have without them. With Anima Squad, the narrative and thematic went with uh, an overwhelming force going at you. Swarm, being swarmed by these uh, enemies, felt like it could fit. We knew we wanted to do these like in-game call-outs uh, to tell players what was going on. We knew that these aren't modes that typically have like a lot of narrative or a lot of text, but we wanted to find a place where we could put those character moments in like short spurts uh, to give people an idea of what was going on. And that was definitely the most fun. My favorite champ in Swarm is probably, well, it was Alawi, but we keep nerfing her. Uh, so <laughs> maybe Leona is my favorite champ to play, just because I love the tankiness. My favorite champ is Yasuo. <laughs> <laughs> he is uh, so well designed and so fun. I'm pretty basic. I like Jane playing with a lot of projectiles and just flying a lot of rockets. I just think she's really fun. My favorite champion is Riven. I think she just plays really 
cool with how the game mode works in general. I actually like going like full glass cannon and seeing how long I can last. It's not really a good strategy, but it's one I have fun with. So I'll like grab Jinx, grab no defensive passives or weapons or anything of the sort, and just try to see how long I can survive. I love playing Seraphine because you don't have to aim her abilities, so you can play one-handed and just have coffee or something. I also like playing with some of my friends and getting to the late stages of the game where Alawi has tentacles all over the entire screen and all you can hear is, I don't know what's going on, I can't see anything. So that's super fun. Originally, it was Milio's like orb and turned into a monster that just floats around. They're pretty cute. I, his name is Sharkbait. I think it's a Yorick minion is probably my favorite. Just the one with the giant shark head. He's so cute. One of my favorite creatures in the game is definitely Rek'Sai. The first time you see that boss spawn on the first level, it's kind of special. It, it really feels like you're playing something different, which was super cool for me. Software. <laughs> <laughs> now, I hope players are addicted to <laughs> our game mode and play many hours. If we achieve a state where people just were like, hey, let's go again, it's not just a one more game thing, right? But I want to just spend more time with you guys because I'm having such a good time. I hope players will be able to enjoy League in a more casual way. The number one thing I'm looking for is there's a lot of League players who play it, have a great time with their friends, and remains a fond memory for them going forward. I think this is a big departure from a lot of the previous experiments we've done so far with modes, which at least in a very long time. And I'm very happy that we got the opportunity to make this work because it shows that PvE still has at least some opportunity in the League um, ecosystem. I also kind of want the thought to pop into the head. It's like, well, if they developed a PvE survivor-like game mode in League of Legends, what's next? How do I feel about these skins? They're so adorable. I mean, this one's just been trying to vibe the entire time. And I think her friends are not having it. <laughs> but no, these guys are so cute. Adopt kittens today. I'm a dog person too. <laughs> yeah, not anymore.